music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. All right, that's the song. Uh, 17 minutes past 12 o'clock now. New music review happening live on the radio. We do this Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays in the 12 o'clock hour. Yes. And we just <laughs> listen to that brand new one, DJ Tunes, featuring Whiskid and a guy Gimba. called Gimba. Man, I like that guy. I like him too. I like the guy. I like his voice. I I like, you know, uh, his his vocal texture. Yeah. And then I like the mastery that he has, you know, uh, the mastery of his voice that he has as well. I like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, Like, just flowing from what he said, this is a new kid, like a new voice in the industry, yeah? But he's coming in with some kind of like more mature aura. Mm -hmm. There's balance. You can tell that he really can sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So... Interestingly, um, the last time we were speaking on this show, yeah, we talked about Ama Piano, mm-hmm. and then I referenced some things. I said something about there's different versions of it these days. There's some people who are into the mellowed versions, the more deeper house. Mm-hmm. Then there's more people who are like they like the fast percussions, the log drums, everything you know, the Uncle Waffles type yeah. of music. <laughs> so like with this song, it was more of like the mellowed version, the mellowed chilled Ama Piano, and I mean everybody's voices try to stand out on this record yeah and we could actually what go, do you mean by try like okay <laughs> it's a great song as a song yeah then if you're looking at it as it's an ama piano fusion because yeah ama piano came from sa mm-hmm. and you know if you're going to do it and sing in english and all of that you have to give it some charisma mm-hmm. i feel the song doesn't really give you the shock value that mm-hmm. you need to like ex- 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 experience. Like, explore like yeah to experience the music deeply yes. because when you are listening to an Amam piano track you're actually looking for something you're yeah. actually trying to either just vibe or you're at a party or something uh, just basically you're trying to feel good you, yeah, yeah you, 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 I'm a piano never stresses yeah you want to exactly. feel good <laughs> it's mood music and the mood with this song is a chill, supposed to be a chilled mood yeah but I didn't get any stun value so I actually don't want to judge the song based on like you know cohesively mm-hmm. as a song yeah, but individually, the voices try to own their own, like stand their own mm-hmm. from Gimba. And my favorite on the record is Gimba. And that's why I'm impressed mm-hmm. with him because yeah. this is a new voice. Yeah. In the industry, yeah. And so, so do you think this song, do you think this song would have been more, I'm trying to look for a, a more diplomatic way to say, but do you think this song would have been more impactful or would have been more experiential for you if it was just DJ Tunes featuring Gimba? Gimba. Without the whiskey factor. Feel free. Honestly, Feel free, yes. Mm-hmm. Honestly, yes. Mm-hmm. Thinking of it, honestly, yes. Because Whiskey was meant to color the record. But wow. Whiskey came on the record with some very mellowed vibe. Like, I didn't get the Whiskey charisma I wanted. Mm. Because if you listen to Whiskey on other my piano songs, and the only one I will reference is Cabza, The Smalls, okay. Spawn on. Like, is it, Whiskey tried to do almost the same thing, what he did on this song. Mm. But he was felt, like, his presence was more felt on the other song. But on this song, like, he just came in. He tried, like, I feel like he just gave it, but if it were like they took a second look, I mean, they could have tweaked some things. Like, that verse could have been stronger. Stronger. Mm. Exactly. Mm. I just think that <laughs> Whiskey hasn't blown my mind on any Ama Piano beat. I think, aside like on any? Yes. Like, well, Batsumi is the only one I would say that. And then Batsumi is not, f- is it fully, fully Ama Piano? There's still the, you know, normal Afro yeah, fusion. Yeah, fusions, yeah. But like, Whiskey hasn't blown my mind on Ama Piano ever. But, but do no, you think- so. This record, for real, you know, if you ask me, uh, I feel like, honestly, it wasn't that bad, bad, bad. No, we're um, not saying it. I, I, no, I'm, I'm saying Whiskey, like, wasn't that bad, bad, bad on it. But then I think Whiskey has been doing something of recent, you know, which, you know, he's been consistent with for a minute. And that's the fact that he never really stresses vocally. You know, he yeah. just vibes. Like it's like I it's mean, it's just lazy and you know laid back and you know you you don't really get to hear I feel any laid back. exactly I vocal feel lazy. powers. <laughs> but I, Wiz, Wiz is not really lazy. trying to make music again to like blow your mind. Exactly, he has like a creative direction with his vibe now. I feel like I want to see where it's going. That's all I would say. Like, let me see where it's going. Because when he came out with Made in Lagos, yeah. you know there was like some initial reluctance yeah. from the market. People yeah. were not understanding yeah. the yeah. sound. He had already been trying it from sounds from the other side. Yes. Word. Word. But with with like with the way things are going, didn't the the acceptance come at the end? It like did. he came. Mm. So I want to see what he does. It could be like everything he's doing now, it's him trying to still evolve beyond where he is. So like if he's taking on an I'm a, I'm a piano record, after Bad to me he's doing this one. 
it it could be like Whiskey is trying to hack that sound now. He wants to try and he doesn't probably want to come out with the whole um regular you know, everybody, how everybody will sound on Ama Piano. Probably is trying to find this sound. I'm, I'm sorry, I disagree with you because <laughs> everybody sounds different on Ama Piano. Well, Think about you mean it. sonically, like your vocal texture could be different. Could be different. It, 100%, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about the way, I mean, I'm talking of Nigerian artists now. Uh-huh. The way Zeno Liski would sound on, a, on an Ama Piano record is different from the way um, David O would sound. So, yes. yeah, but, but Whiskey like, would also sound very different, but it's just... Are you no, but then artistic- our minds artistically, at it? like you know, what Chin also said, I quite agree because artistically, when it comes to music creators, you know, they do something that comes from a place of you know, uh, f- for us the audience, it's a place of unknown. Mm-hmm. For yeah. them, it's a place of you know, creating something mm-hmm. different, something that you know they want to try out. So hey, you can be different, honestly, but it, it could it could still be good. Exactly. Well, but I, I'm I'm just saying that <laughs> maybe I'm sounding this way because there's a pedestal that I have that you've of placed, like yeah. placed on. It somewhere. That's it. So like, uh-huh. if you're not hitting that pedestal for me, it's okay for me to say this is not this is not doing uh, it for me. You know, interestingly, sounds from the from the other side was that project that you know, uh, like Chin also said, you know, he started experimenting with some of these vibes. Yeah. But then yes. on that project, I could still hear. Some vocal, pro, you know, vocal progress from whiskey. You can still hear it. That you know, you can hear the, you know, that richness of his voice. You know, the way he does his thing. But these days, you know, he's it, just like, you know, I'm whiskey. I'm whiskey. I'm the number one. You know, Afrobeat king. <laughs> me, Let I me just sit back say. and vibe and just chill and you know be I laid back and relaxed. There was relaxed, this, there's this viral know? video that I saw. I'm, I'm not even sure if it's what, was it this song where DJ Tunes was playing something and Whiskey was like, ah, when did I do this one? Mm. Was it this song? I, I think I think it was. Instagram, it was this song. Yeah, yeah well, I saw it on so, I saw it on Instagram. So the, the thing like, is, when did I do this one? Actually, a little backstory. Yeah. So this this feature is like this song actually is Gimba's first official song Single. out. Mm. So like his first song ever is a Whiskey. But DJ Tunes like was the no. one who like brought that out. No, no, this song came out with the Stars Academy record same Friday, so you had two songs out at once. This one and, and the other uh, one, okay, well, Jam One Kelly, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I mean, Jam like, but you know, this predominantly is this release. is like the for, you know the one at the forefront, you know, for his first release, and then having that with Wiz, you know, on it. Like, so you know, it was it was released the same day, yeah, correct? It was released the same yeah. Day. So that's what I'm like saying. I mean, this is your first time stepping out, and you have a Whiskey feature. DJ Tunes actually plugged in that feature because Gimba wasn't expecting to do a song with Wiz. With Wiz, Wiz. yeah. Yeah, so everything happened crazy. It was does the same Lo J story with Saz and yes. everything. <laughs> it was the same but Lo I mean, J we story. saw what Whiskey did with that record on with, on that record with Saz. We saw what he did. Uh, I we still, saw what Lo J did. I, I as still well. feel like you know Lo J bodied Whiskey on that. You know, we had that conversation. You know, that you know, way I, I, way back I, I then. Agree. But, but let's Whiskey let's get back. To, you know, of course. <laughs> but let's get back to the music. We'll come back to this conversation okay, in a bit, though. Like, about <laughs> about that's blessings right there, man. DJ Tunes. Whiskey and Gimba, you know, on that one. Uh, and I like that Gimba guy. I got to say that again. You know, I, I feel like, you know, hey, he has a unique voice, you know, to him. Honestly, uh, I like his sonic feel. I like his sonic delivery. Uh, I like the fact that he's comfortable, you know, with himself. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why he didn't get, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He, he didn't get, uh, he didn't feel that pressure that Whiskey, Whiskey was on the track with him. He just did him. You know, he enjoyed doing him and is comfortable doing him. And I like that about him. But let, let's, you know, dissect into, you know, a bit about uh, the composition as well. Let's mm-hmm. talk about the composition. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Like, you know, let, let's talk Whiskey's pen game. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's talk about that. I mean, you know, if there's anything to not appreciate about Whiskey, uh, is his pen game on the song. So uh-huh. if, you, if you listen to the lyrics, it's an aspirational song. Uh-huh. And... Whiskey actually was writing like honestly, you can feel the sincerity. In no, the yes, of course. You, yeah. you know, you know why I, I, I laughed is Whiskey was singing about life, you know, and all that, you know, aspirations and life. But then he still always manages to put, to put others, the girl with the, you know, you're income, not the first and then, person. You're and, not and then you know, the I'm just person. writing this. I'm just you know doing that. You know, that girl, that fine girl, bring it. You know, bring it to this. I'm like, wait, is this not a song about? You know, your aspirations and how great you want to be and then life and all that but you still put that into like, it all i have like had <laughs> a lot of thoughts about this because i i try to see music poetry all of them like in the uh-huh. same light so if it's a poem you would definitely not see it start with like a prayerful theme and then switch to something sensual midway uh-huh. but if it's a song they get away with it yeah so i think it's more of the art form and people who started this thing so it's not every musician that does that. Some people, they are, they, when they want to write with a theme in mind, they follow through to the end. But some 
Wizkid <laughs> and yeah, a lot of mainstream <laughs> actors. I'm not saying it's just limited to Wiz. Uh-huh. Many of them are guilty of this. Mm. So like, but do you blame them though? Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speakers. Speakers. It's what yeah. is in the, it's what they know <laughs> that they're speaking about. Like, so, so are, we, what, are we saying part of Wizkid's uh, you know aspiration? One hundred percent. To have like you know. F- 5,000 baby it's mamas. Not it's not even an aspiration. It's not even an aspiration. When I think it's the, it's the life he's living. He's like, a freaking like, superstar. He, he, he oh needs to women are everywhere. <laughs> he needs to be in that life. Yeah. Like, consistently. Yeah. Maybe that's what that's what he's paying for. But yeah. I feel it's more reflective on the song. So everyone uh-huh. was coming on that record with some sort of like introspection. Exactly. And I felt it. So exactly. lyrically, they, they, they tried. Lyrically, they did it for me. Okay. okay. So like, <laughs> so what about the beats now? What about the beats? Yeah, about that's that. the most intricate part of the whole song. So like, even if you're not swayed by um, the whole music itself, like the whole song, if you listen to the instrumental, you will know that it was it was done by like professionals. Mm. So like, it's interestingly, there's this duo Smith and Dean. They have been, I've been seeing them. They, Nigerian. they popped up, yeah, they're Nigerian. They okay. popped up on my radar like last year, like two years ago. But I've been noticing that they they are more into house music. They mm-hmm. had like um, a record out, piano sexual. Like they have a lot of house music, I'm a piano kind of vibe. Right. And they've been working closely with DJ Tunes. Oh, nice. So there was a recording camp where the song was made. So they were like the resident producers there. Mm. So I feel like they brought in that. This song was made difference. in a recording camp. Yeah, it was. Interesting. It was made in a recording camp. So it was one of the songs. So they picked it. Like, obviously, after the camp, they would pick one of the best yeah. Yeah. to yeah. put out. So DJ Tunes probably loved the song, then put Wiz, yeah, Wiz on it. So Gimba actually recorded the song before Wiz. Mm. Right. I'd like to see a video of him jumping up like Loje when he told <laughs> him that Wiz was going to be on the record. I mean, I, I want to see that I video. imagine how he felt. Like, that's some pressure. <laughs> yes, a big deal. In a way, yeah. Because that's a pedestal that but you have to you have to actually now match. Yeah. So Gim- but I feel Gimba m- might be able to hold his own. Now, I feel like he has that, you know, uh, that gift to be able to hold it because, you know, uh, he sounds unique. He don't sound like, you know, any other person that I know, you know, within the Nigerian music space. And that, you know, always got to count for something at the end of the day as well. When you're unique, when your voice, you know, uh, sells you as well, uh, you know, uh, it's an X factor thing, you know, that you, you, we always got to watch out for. You know, you're on air now. That's one of the things that we also watch out for when, you know, when yeah. we're picking those artists. And that's right where there. Afrobeat is right now. Mm-hmm. Right? See, like Nigeria is now ready for poetic music for people who can really sing. Sing, yeah. Gone yeah. on those days where it was just Bangalore like, music you know, era. Yeah. Like, you know, just like, make noise. Make make it bang enough and noisy enough, you know, you know and then, you know, make You know, back then, like, even people that could sing would try to water down how well they can sing on their you. records. You they know, used to do that, but they don't crazy. do that anymore. Now, yeah. we, Everyone see. is now experimenting. Yes. <laughs> so, it's exciting. Shout, shout out to where we are going to because yeah. I'm like, if we are here now, there's a lot of, like, potential. Yeah, yeah. You know, because, you see, and your face came here the other day you know uh and then you know we could hear something unique you know from him and then you know producers are experimenting with so much you know shout out to wicked as well you know we came up with a genre for it i think we said i'm a guitar or something like you know but but you know the experimentation is exciting to see like you said just you know uh you know buffing up what it is that you said right there they are not competing with themselves anymore i think that's what they woke up to so they realized that we're not competing with just lagos or with just other people from nigeria they are competing globally now. Word. So yeah. they are fighting for, you know, chart numbers in UK, in US. <laughs> Why would they sing on like a very mediocre level? They have to go on their full steeds. They have to impress people. Exactly. Mm. exactly. Which which actually makes sense. But then let's talk about, um, aside Whiskey though, aside the fact okay. that we've spoken about Whiskey not um, meeting expectations on this record, what other thing would you say didn't quite work for you on the song? Um, It will still boil down to the composition. Like, so... Because Wiz had to be on the record, yeah, I feel they allowed Gimba or Gimba's voice shown on the record, but he could have had more room to to show us. Because if you listen to the other song, that other song is a smash. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The other Gimba jam that dropped, Jam One Kill. Yeah, yeah. Jam so One Kill. You can see his range. Like sonically, you can sonically you can see what this boy can do. Can do, yeah. Mm. So I feel like if they allowed allowed him to own the song. <laughs> interesting that we're interesting that we're saying this about a fast rising artist. Someone whose name Someone who literally just found like out. <laughs> every other fast rising artist would just be praying, oh, let me just take one hook. Or let me just take the chorus. <laughs> yeah. Like let this start body the song so that people could yeah. like get it. to but know, you know. Now we're in that era. 
and this is the thing about you know fast rising artists that i i always say like the only way to the only way to get our attention is to blow our minds you need to you need to give us something and i think they've been doing that you know jazz is is something i I think i remember last year you know that the way these new kids are going that even the established artists you know cannot sleep that if you sleep like for two seconds they'll take your spot you know so you know we gotta say you know big ups to you know all the young talent out there uh i've I've been hearing so many talents that are busting my brain matter of fact i'll be unveiling you know uh both of my artists this year as well like you need to hear both of them. They are insane. Yeah. Out so it's of beaming this with so much excitement. <laughs> 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 let's go play some music. Bella Schmada and Asti C Philo the remix. I will be back in a bit. All right, let's get into the final lap right now. We've been dissecting through this, you know, uh, amazing jam, if you ask me. Yeah, I, lo- I love the music. You know, uh, I suppose we're gonna have to rate it on a scale of one to ten. So mm. I, I think from the way I'm saying I love this record, uh you probably be expecting, you know, a high score from me, but you know, you never can tell. But let's get back into it. Let's you know I uh, go through the final lap of this one. Okay. Uh, Sarah Skills <laughs> I want to start with you Skills <laughs> You want to start aside, with me Aside Gimba's voice Which we've already established uh-huh. What else do you like About this song So I like the fact That you know uh, The beat I like the beat I like the instrumental You know for this one uh, It's really refreshing it's a re- you know that type of refreshing beat you know you listen to it even without the vocals on it you know it's the kind of beat that i'm, I'm that guy that you know s- sometimes i don't want to hear voices i just want to hear the beat first and foremost and just you know vibe with it enjoy it flow with it so the beat catches me i like that and i think uh, that that's know. the cheat code of my piano maybe and you that's why people can get away with weird doing nonsense no they're, 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 they're even they're even there's other doing instrumentals that are, other than i'm a piano that you listen to you and i you know we had conversations about you know uh bruno mars's instrumental you know we don't even there's no music on it and then we're like man yeah. this is like you know so that does it for me every single time i hear that magics and iris start the re-up you know when that beat hits i'm like you don't even need Just to sing the beginning on this alone. you get yeah so you know this beat does that for me so kudos to these new guys you know that she, uh, you know i should also mention uh, i'm looking forward to you know more you know stuff from them for real uh, but then away from that whiskey wasn't you know too bad like apart he from wasn't the, you know, he apart wasn't. from the laid back thing you know no, he, he wasn't, wasn't you know he was really flowing in a way that was you know the lumber was there the rhythm was there you know i like that but the gimba guy is actually the one i can't take away the gimba guy from this record you know he totally blew my mind as short as it was i agree with you i think they should have let him do more uh, especially yeah. at the end of the record where whiskey was still repeating what he already said at the beginning you know, in between you know the song is they still brought it back and repeated the same thing at the end and you said something say what's whiskey doing here and i was like yes bro you're speaking my mind you're psychic you know they should have let game but they, you know do that part for real but you know big ups to whiskey you know still yeah. regardless you know what I mean? like whiskey is carrying <laughs> like the blessings and curse of being whiskey so he, i mean he exactly face it. like i mean he prayed for it He's right still for right it. but then cohesively like generally it was a okay song for me but i love the fact that it spotlighted people who worked on the song mm. so okay. it was it was a good song yeah. yeah but if there was anything you could do differently now you know so as an a r guy if there's anything you could do differently on this record what would it be mm. aside because i know you're going to say oh making gimba's vo- um, um, part longer no <laughs> aside that what else would you do differently on this is there someone you could think you think that okay maybe if not wasted we could we'll have had this someone song, you know, else better with, yeah you with know. gimba like what do you think Oh, that's tricky because um, it, there's just very few people that I would actually say can hold it. But I, I'm thinking I would like to see what World will do on that song with Gimba. Mm. <sighs> Take mm. this high five from here. <laughs> Bluetooth, Bluetooth, okay. Bluetooth, Bluetooth high yeah, five. I would like to see what yeah. World will do on that <laughs> song because it feels like it's going to be harmonic balance. I just, I just, I'm curious. I'm mm. curious to see. I also like to hear a female voice on it. On it. Which yeah. female do you Which, think yeah. you know would do justice to this one? It's tricky, man. Like it's tricky to say. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Tiwa, but I'm not so certain. But I'm mm. thinking Tiwa can actually because I remember what she did with Majid recently. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Tiwa yeah. knows how to just color a record, like just make it a Tiwa Savage song. Exactly. Feel, yeah. I so I agree with. And that's what a featured artist should do yeah. on a record. On this song, exactly. <laughs> I be on my right. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. So I mean, if you're working on a song, you're coming to bless the record. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's not really about you; it's about the song. Yeah. So and that's just it for me. Like it was a good effort. Like I like the fact that they are actually trying to do something. Mm. This is May. Like if you notice, it's not supposed to be like really active music period. We're looking at summer. 
But then these songs are already dropping, so that yeah. means they still have more in mm-hmm. store to come. Yeah, and that's exciting. That you know, so that's very. exciting. Like I said it before, I'm very happy for where Afrobeats is right now. On. So on a scale of one to ten, let's let's you know. I, I, give, I, I give it. I give it a six point five. Six point five. Yeah. What what what's oh what's it with this point five? That I mean, it, it that, point five, that, <laughs> that, that point five. That point <laughs> something always pisses you know, pisses out. Guy, it might not be up to a seven. Yeah, but you shouldn't just give it six and a half. You know, it's more than six, not up to seven. Okay, let's say seven. You know, like our problem, you say, you know that thing they used to do in uh, for that mathematics. You know, mm-hmm. when you say approximate to, that's exactly. Your problem. Let's, no, like, let's get but there. But numbers don't necessarily work that way. Six point five means it's more than six, but not up to yeah, seven. So okay. Yeah, so six point five for me right. actually. Okay. Yeah. So what about your skills? So for me, like you know, honestly, I'll give it a six. Six yes, as well. I'll give it six as well yeah, for this one. For me, I'm gonna give it a five. Uh, yes, a five because it's not a bad song at all, but it's not just something that I would pick up my phone uh-huh. to play hmm. but if they play it you it might actually not know it. that you don't like it that's my point yes if, if they play it, it i would not might i would vibe to it you and like I, there was something i said off air about this particular song i said this is a song that you really don't you won't feel it like that when you are when you are what i'm trying to look for the right <laughs> word sober sober is the word so, why, why, why did you when want you to sober. why did you not want this to is, say that like <laughs> <laughs> sober this is this, this, this is a song that you you would feel differently if you're at a party and yes you, and you've collected the spiritual uh-huh. you know, and the bottles are popping but then like, where we are that, now <laughs> no it's not one of those songs but it's yeah. all good thank you for joining us on the show yes, you know, yes, so yes, how actually, can people connect with you on social on media on social media yes okay i'm on instagram chinonso the revolutionary the revolutionary all together chinonso is N O N because I know a lot of people say N O S O, so it's no. Chin on the revolutionary. You know the N O N gotta be you know there. Yeah, C H I N O N S O D revolutionary. Yeah, exactly. Man. His I'm favorite guy is coming too. up next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm excited for who's that? The Odumodu Black. Odumodu Black. You know okay. what I mean? <laughs> he's, he's in Lagos this Sunday. He's in Lagos. I think they have a, a gig. gig. Yeah, your yeah. Joe Boy Odumodu and a couple. Yeah. Of Music for Lagos. One hundred two point three Max FM.